So we're putting these in approved locations. We're not targeting uh, low income neighborhoods. We can actually avoid that from happening now. We can take responsibility for where these machines are at. And I will caution you this, this represents some of the research material and some of the previous bills in the last nine years. One of these bills in here, I think goes back to 2016, uh, House Bill, I believe is 750, which encouraged and proposed that we start, we set up a North Carolina Gaming Commission. And we can put under that the boxing that's done in this state, the bingo, the beach bingo, the wrestling, the boxing, all that stuff could be put under one house. So that was already proposed and turned down. And I'm telling you that as a member, your colleague, to say that it's predatory and it shouldn't be out there and we shouldn't be doing it, that's fine to say here. But when you stand up and you don't vote for something to do something about it, you're condoning it and you're allowing it to continue. It's something to think about. Now, what I've, what I've offered to you today, what I've shared with you today, is uh, an opportunity to address it in a reasonable way that will reduce the number of illegal operations out there to nothing. It will provide law enforcement the resources to address it. It will offer an opportunity for HBCUs to get a recurring appropriation in addition to whatever's budgeted for them. And it will also uh, offer an opportunity for a free community college. It will take a lot of steps in the right direction. But more, more than anything else, it recognizes the fact that these things exist for one reason only. People want to play them. If you had a business and nobody came, you'd be out of business. But the reason they close these places down, uh, and I don't blame uh, law enforcement at all, you close a place down and a week or two later they're down the street in another abandoned building, we can take care of that. You can take care of that. But we've got to take the first step to do that. And uh, I think this is the first best step. As I said earlier, it's a culmination of nine years of work with people in the in industry, people who would be charged with the responsibility of oversight and enforcement. It's a good first step forward, and I encourage you to support the bill if it comes before you for a vote. Thank you very much for your time and your questions, and anybody who would like to speak to me afterwards, please just call my office. Thank you.